cool. Um, thanks a lot. Hi, everybody. Thanks very much for joining us. And if anyone's online, thank you as well for joining. My name is Sam Patton. I'm a senior manager on the online fundraising team at the Wikimedia Foundation. I work with uh, many amazing people to run our fundraisers, which means banners and emails and every means that we can think of to communicate with Wikipedia's readers online and encourage them to give. But today we're going to really focus on the banners we show on site. So just an introduction to banner fundraising. Um, first off, a banner is just our term for the appeal that you have surely seen on Wikipedia. It's a message that is injected. We use a media wiki extension called Central Notice to do it. There are many volunteers, uh, Central Notice admins, who also use Central Notice for a variety of banners related to edit-a-thons and wiki loves con contests. We use them to fundraise. And you might not know that 99% of Wikimedia Foundation's donors originate as banner donors. Maybe that's very plausible to you because the essential value proposition we've relied upon over all these years is that if you find Wikipedia valuable as a reader, you should donate a little bit. And that's really effective. Um, we've been able to cultivate millions of donors online. We run banner fundraisers in more than 30 countries and 20 languages. The localization process is a critical component to our banner fundraising. And then each fundraiser we run is a series of A-B tests. And you've been hearing that probably in other sessions today. You know, an A-B test is just a um, scientific method of randomizing an audience, showing them a couple different treatments, and then evaluating the performance of those treatments. And all of our fundraisers in all of those countries are really a series of A-B or even larger variant tests designed to help us optimize towards our key metrics and optimize based off feedback we get. So today, I just really invite everybody as we get into it to not be shy, to share your feedback. Um, we are always limited by the quality of the ideas we have and the, our ability to connect with valuable users, and that's you. So any suggestion or opinion, there's no such thing as a bad question today. There's no such thing as a bad comment. It all will add to our understanding of where we are and how we, where we should be going. So I really want to sit, and this is not designed to be a speech. It's designed to be a discussion. Um, I'm just going to sit and show you what we call our control banner. And that's that. So the control, obviously, just from the uh, you know, scientific terminology, is what you would call the, the, the uh, standard banner that we run a test against and then evaluate whether that test performed better or worse than the control. Um, this is a typical banner. This is what we would call our desktop large banner. When you're in a given fundraiser, we typically serve this banner first and then we move you to a series of small banners. We do occasionally reset and show another large banner later points in the campaign. I'm just gonna give you a minute to look at it. You see it's comprised of a big green messaging space, and then there's also an embedded form with a lot of functionality. I'm just gonna switch and just give you a minute to actually read the text. Maybe I'll just read it in case that helps with anyone's comprehension. And then I just want to invite your reactions. So I'll read it top to bottom. Wikipedia still can't be sold. August 7th, an important update for readers in the United States. Please don't scroll past this one minute read. We're sorry to interrupt, but it's Wednesday, August 7th, and this message will only be up for a few hours. We ask you to reflect on the number of times you visited Wikipedia in the past year, and if you're able to give 275 to the Wikimedia Foundation. If everyone reading this gave 275, we'd hit our goal in a few hours. In the age of AI, access to ver verifiable facts is crucial. Wikipedia is at the heart of online information, powering everything from your personal searches to emerging AI technologies. Your gift strengthens the knowledge of today and tomorrow. If Wikipedia is one of the websites you use most, and if the knowledge you gain here is valuable, please give 275. Every contribution helps. Every edit, every gift counts. What do you think? 
please. Um, do you, could maybe someone give you the microphone just in case there are people online who want to hear too? Uh, yes, um, I think to catch uh, the attention of people, a word of text is not uh, the most practical thing. Maybe you could try to see if you can have some way to have the tool to detect if the bandwidth is enough to display an image that would be also a catching beside uh, the text. So they can really be interested to look at the text and not just click past it or click or oh, just over the text close and uh, tick uh, the, the cross. And also um, another uh, interrogation is uh, about where is, the where is the mention of the community? Sure. Uh, uh, because uh, uh, I already discussed with a journalist about it was more French journalist, but yeah, because I'm based in France, but I'm still contributing to the Wikipedia in English. And they often just think about the funders and they never think about how it's currently handled by the community and where the money actually goes. And uh, the message, the message doesn't show anything for uh, where the money can go for like grants or uh, to help, uh, for example, for Wikimedia France, it will be uh, microfunding to buy books uh, and reference uh, to perfect articles on Wikipedia in French. So maybe you could also something, also do something for uh, English. Nice. Um, I really appreciate you starting off the questions or, or comments. So let me back up for a second. You just think generally we need more graphics, too, too much text. Um, do you already have an idea for what kind of graphic you think would apply to this kind of banner? Uh, I think it could be some kind of vector graphic or some kind of picture of someone already using the font to uh, do workshops or things like that. Nice. Like, ah, so like an impact picture showing where the money supports yeah, kind of. Uh, or uh, of, uh, on other uh, NGOs say, oh, this this children is being fed, or children is uh, are being to sent to school, but more like uh, the money actually used for this, and we see the situation in which it's used. Nice, yeah. Or or even just uh, you see this new picture, this new improvement uh, we got last year, uh, uh, the cool improvement on MediaWiki. Not without saying MediaWiki, you say, we, we just brought to you dark mode, it's thanks to your money or things like that. Nice. That's, that's awesome. Could I get a quick show of hands? Who agrees with the idea that we should be emphasizing the volunteer contributions more? People resonate with that? I think that's something I often uh, worry over in terms of wanting to center the idea that the revenue goes to the foundation, but... It's very, yeah, kind of heartening to know that there'd be more room to talk about the volunteers, which is obviously important. Um, I think you've got a question, and then maybe if anyone wants to build off that, they could do that after. There is uh, that uh, uh, one of the things that I myself would be more engaged is like also having different campaigns like inside of Wikipedia. And I will be more interested about this. the same approach that I see. There's a lot of a problem that people don't see where the money is going. Like you can just emphasize, let's say, like even I don't know, the server space costs that much millions. Uh, your donations help to cover that. All of those things, or even and linking it more like those things held locally. For some of the, one of the things that I do is a wiki science competition. Very difficult to get all of those banners for that kind of local events, like you have like image competitions or article competitions or some whatever events happening locally. You have some banners, but those banners are not really maybe linked to, let's say, like. But you can also provide a donation. So if people say like, okay, maybe I'm not going to participate with an article or show up in this meeting, I can just donate money. And this is also one way to show like where actually the money is going, where is it needed. I think there's really a lot of this problem, like no one really understands why are you asking donations? And you can emphasize more of this good work that is being done. And this is one way to also show what those local communities do. Nice. Um, I really appreciate both those points. And not to close the loop, but just to confirm, I think that there are things we can act off. If you're looking at this, that middle paragraph, where right now we're talking about AI, 
that is a space in which there's a lot of flexibility in the educational messaging we provide. And there's a lot of room to experiment more with where your donation goes. We're talking about the volunteer contributions. I actually also want to point out something to you. I don't think you can see it very well. Down in the small print, there's a li little link that says other ways to give. And we've been working on treatments that basically move that small print back further into the banner. It doesn't need to be there on the first load. It gives us more space for secondary actions. And we'd really like to start emphasizing other actions than giving. Because I think there are many, you know, 98% of banner impressions don't lead to a gift. And so we would love to experiment more with encouraging people who maybe aren't in a position to donate to consider a volunteer action. And I think that that's something that we'll be experimenting with in the next six months. Um, yeah. Oh, and sorry, I, I didn't, well, probably, sorry if you don't mind, we'll get back. Yeah, just to just to emphasize what was mentioned by our colleagues here, if I see this this message for the first time, I thought that I have uh, lapsed my online subscription or something that uh, or GDPR sure. or something. Uh, I would really request that uh, it could be visually appealing, like uh, like what my, what my colleague had mentioned that. This uh, this uh, a donation would uh, definitely make an impact in let's say in uh, sub-Saharan Africa that they they're doing uh, an ed edathon, and uh, yeah, probably you could uh, consult someone who is uh, expert in uh, visual visual identity. Thank you. Gotcha. Yeah, appreciate the feedback. Uh, I think the last sentence. This would it is, help to maybe, I'll go to this view, might yeah, be a little bit easier. Yeah, Wikipedia is one of the websites you use most, and if the knowledge you gain here is valuable, please give $2.75. I think that's, that's not so good, because maybe there are people who don't have this money, but they still think it's valuable. can answer the one thing with Drew, but don't, can't give that. So I think that should be written in a more neutral, neutral way, just... I would say, just say, please donate if you want to. You can find the financial information about the Wikimedia Foundation. I think that would be enough for me, at least. Gotcha. Um, can you think of a, a rewrite for that sentence? Yeah, I would, I would write a very, very short banner. I would just write, Wikimedia Foundation is looking for ants, for donations, and I would like the Wikimedia Foundation is hosting the Wikimedia projects, also this... Wikipedia version, you can see the banner. And then if you can find financial information about the Wikimedia Foundation, if you want to, you can donate. That's, I think that would be enough for me at least. I think that would be, I would like such a way more as it is not playing too much with feelings of people. Hmm. Just they can decide on their own if they want or not. Sure. Yeah, sure. I really appreciate that feedback. And I know, and there's more discussion. Um, maybe my thoughts. We have done testing where we maintained the height of the banner, but cut the text. And often you can get a similar performance from less copy. And in fact, for a few years, I had adopted a shorter banner only to feel that was a mistake because I had cut out whatever educational messaging we had included at the time. And so I've become a proponent of making space for a message. It doesn't have to be AI, but maybe it could be more about the volunteer work. Um, but then I would just say generally, uh, I really appreciate that feedback and also like have to obviously admit that this is marketing. There's an emotional element to it. And generally... It's hard, like the drier the message, I feel the less emotional resonance there would be when someone is getting an impression for the first time with all the ignorance we understand most readers have about how the back end works. And so I think I would just advocate for a message that does try to distill down some thesis for how we work, but I really appreciate your specific suggestions for what the focus could be. Yeah. I mean, I also like really, like, like, I mean, it really value this uh, part of emotional. It has to be there, otherwise, like, why should I care? It's like, because it has to, like, first uh, get the people engaged. And without that, we don't have, like, any contribution from there, is it monetary or otherwise. But I would might more be go, like, in this kind of direction. It's just like, uh, let's say a simple question. Do you know how Wikipedia works? 
And from there, you can go both of those ways that there is this voluntary part, uh, how you can uh, look more like how you can write an article, edit an article, improve an article, deal with your local community, do some even, is it code or images and so on. And the other side, like, but if you don't maybe have time to contribute like that way, you can always give some money because again, servers and, and also like explain why you need the money. But again, this kind of uh, thing like, do you know how Wikipedia works? I think is something that we really need to explain more. And that kind of banners it for me at least. I, I've been, I mean, I've been a bit dissatisfied that over the years we have not used it to really educate the public. Like we are using those banners, but we are not doing the work to show how Wikipedia actually works. At the same time, even with the new design, yes, it looks prettier, but it's really to for readers. But if they don't see there is this edit option uh, more visible, then in the long run, we may be actually reducing the number of potential new people coming in and editing. And that's the reason why, for instance, like freedom for the new design, it hides away some of those capabilities. And in this case, especially, it would be valuable to have those banners to indicate that, yes, this editing is possible. We can show you how it works. It's simple. You can do that. I appreciate that. I like that a lot. Um, the idea of like an engagement banner, a survey banner that could even run before you get something like this is, is a neat idea we've been kind of kicking around. Um, anyone else? I would love for, for anyone, you know, any new voice. Anybody got a comment or a suggestion? Don't be shy. Don't be shy to ask a question or ask why we do things one way or the other. Yes, please. Uh, so I was thinking about uh, the value or the pri the the suggestion we're giving to yeah. seventy five dollars uh, that it also might be. I mean, regarding yours, that it might. We. I think that we also need to remember that people can give more. And that if we give a suggestion that is, uh, if we don't give a suggestion, they might not give anything at all. Um, and that if they think that maybe they had a, a, lot, a higher amount um, that they thought of, but then they see 275 and then they like, okay, I settled for that. So it's important to give kind of a, a message that attracts or everyone that wants to donate so that everyone can give, I guess. Yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, and I don't mean, it's none of my responses are meant as rebuttals, more I just love this. And so maybe I'd offer in extensive testing, mentioning a numeric, we call it an anchor, 275, overwhelmingly will earn more revenue because you're taking away that choice. And obviously, we have optimized towards a very low anchor. I think we, we have the exact challenge you're mentioning. And even, let's say, in this example market of the U.S., we have a donor base. Some, some of our donors have been giving for 10 years. Many of them can give it a higher level. Maybe have even their own personal wealth has increased. We can't do any targeting on Wikipedia to those donors so that they see a different anchor. And so we have kind of optimized towards a vastly generic anchor and I feel that you're right that there's a, an opportunity to try to create more nuance for people who could do more. Uh, one option also, also for the anchoring is, uh, for instance, like in Estonian, the last printed encyclopedia would have cost roughly 1,000 euros. So again, this is one option about like anchoring it. You can, you don't need to like, I'm asking this, but do you know that the printed volume of encyclopedia would roughly cost you 1,000 euros? And Wikipedia, well, it's kind of more convenient, isn't it? But so we're like only asking for 50. And, uh, but there are also smaller amounts available. And you're like anchoring it for a very high price, asking significantly less. And uh, I think something like this could also at least be A-B tested. Will it yeah. work better? It's a neat, neat idea. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah. Um, do you feel like talking about any of that, Peter? I'd yeah. love for you to. Peter is our lead developer. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so you can see on the right, we have uh, different amounts with 275 being the lowest and $100 being the highest. We don't get too many $100 donations, but just having that option there um, allows people to give that if they like. And it also 
slightly moves other people up because they see, oh, some people are giving 100. We also mention in that form there, the average donation in the United States is around $13. Um, yeah, we calculate that for every country. Um, so that gives people an idea of what they might want to give as well, if they wanted to give more. Um, and then the other thing is, as Sam said, like once someone has given once, we then will send emails to them in future years. And that is an opportunity to maybe upgrade people a bit more as well and see if they're, you have a lot more space in an email um, to uh, try and upgrade people, see if they would be willing to give more. Nice, please. Seven's got uh, something to add in. Uh, hi, I'm I'm Seven. Um, I think one of the things that's just worth highlighting is what other nonprofits do with their forms in terms of where they are anchoring. So I'm currently looking at the British Red Cross website. Their minimum donation amount that they provide on the form on their website is £25, which is where they're starting at. So we we do provide a, a much bigger range than other non-profits um oxfam the minimum amount is again 25 pounds so we i think we we do a pretty good job of of catering to as wide a possible audience opening up those lower amounts for people but also providing those bigger amounts if people want to so yeah it's an interesting comparison so yeah i appreciate that and i just like to say like your point around the people I worry more about are not the millionaires who might give 275, even though they exist. Um, it's the people for whom 275 is a barrier. And none of our, this isn't a paywall. It's not designed to block you. And the tension of encouraging enough people who can give to give versus not dissuading people who should be using the site and that that is more than sufficient. That's a real tension for me. Um, I'd maybe speak to the fact that over the years, we have sometimes emphasized, again, 98% of readers don't give. Please be the rare exception. Uh, most don't give, they just scroll away. And we've removed that language, and we've been encouraged to remove that language. And I think of that as very righteous. And I would just say there is a real desire on my part to, to just try to understand how people could walk away from this banner without feeling guilty. Yes, please. Um, I have a question about the line, um, the link with other ways to use. I think it should be under the please select, uh, please select a payment method. Ah, uh, yeah, like right here. Yes, yeah. Be because uh, it's designed to, uh, it's a link to use to yeah. to give money. Put this with the in, inside the part where you give money. Yeah, I like that. I agree. I'm re like literally, I agree. And we have a bunch of designs that are des that are meant to create more space for secondary actions. There's abundant space to see that we will still maintain a giving stream while opening people up to other actions. And, and also, uh, the less uh, links you put in the small text uh, under it, then it means it will be less tall. And it also means it will fill up better the empty blank space I see on the corner, uh, bottom right. Yeah. Yeah, that's good feedback. I'm just going to move forward for just a second, um, maybe to dig in a little bit more. Oh, we worked with editors who participate in what we call our feedback pages, as well as the comms department to unveil that middle paragraph messaging around the age of AI. And we know that doesn't translate everywhere. We've already heard from some people really suggesting that we talk more about the volunteer contributions. Is there any other theme for a general readership that you feel would really resonate that we could pull into the banner? Um, from experience, um, I noticed there are a lot of people involved with the sharing of knowledge in general. Uh, and they are actually in uh, local initiatives uh, and local associations about local uh, history, heritage, uh, or local uh, environmental or traditions, area, things like that. Um, they are usually digitally illiterate. And 
or, or they just know how to use Word and emails, you know. And I think uh, it would be a good idea to try out to see how local you can go to uh, whether in targeting or whether in the wording to uh, incentivize this kind of people to give and to so they can have some kind of reach about uh, how you can uh, word the language about how, here is how uh, Wikipedia helps to uh, save or uh, talk about local heritage you also care about. And so, just so I'm understanding correctly, you think you would advocate for localized messaging and that actually being part of the um, the appeal? Like, these things happen, your, your money supports these things. That's how you see it? Yes, and I think uh, also these people uh, are also of... Uh, are more used to give money because they also have a membership to an association. So these sure. people can also help. And well, But of course, it won't be the only kind of targeting possible because I'm aware some people just go to Wikipedia to like about a TV series or uh, sure. anime series. So yeah, it's, it's not for everyone, but uh, for the banner, it might be worth to give a try if you also can associate this with actual examples from the local community, for example, in the USA, uh, that were very useful to push uh, publicly on Wikipedia uh, local content, uh, content about uh, local like art, uh, if there were uh, glam initiatives sure. that really uh, are really interesting to promote uh, and to, to 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 give an uh, a, a light uh, highlight on this uh, to to prove that is useful. We partnered with this museum and we helped to promote this kind of local content. Uh, you may also care about things like that. Thanks. Nice. Yeah, um, I love that idea. I even uh, speak to. I I don't have a slide for it, but increasingly on our thank you page, which admittedly you have to give to get to it. Yeah. But increasingly on the thank you page, we've been highlighting the work of the affiliates in the given country. And I agree it's something we could potentially pull forward in the flow. Yes, yes I, I, I think so, something, uh, I, I don't know uh, if there are technical limitations, uh, but yes, it, it might be useful, maybe with the location, uh, just the, sure. uh, if you get uh, the, the, if the system gets uh, some kind of location from the, you know, the, the data uh, from the browser, maybe you can also some kind of, uh, of regionalizing of the kind of messages uh, you could try to display. Nice. I really appreciate that, that suggestion. Um, what about anyone else? Yeah, and please. And I'd also just encourage, again, if, if you happen to be in the room, there must be a reason you're in the room. Why don't you ask a question? I wish to current statistics about the status of a fundraising campaign so that people know how much has been donated since the starting of the campaign. I have seen that there have been in the past statistics provided. I have looked at dumps.wikidata wikimedia.org and I have found some files from 2010 or something like that but since then I have not found something yeah, so I think that would be great if you, I think, and I think it could be possible to provide a daily status about how much has been donated. Yeah, I, that's very timely, um, especially if you look back. We mention this very effective line. If everyone reading this gave 275, we'd hit our goal in a few hours. And we've been getting a lot of active uh, suggestions to extrapolate that, explain better what the goal was, what the progress was. Um, I think there's a lot of good designs we can, we can lean on on that. Wikimedia Deutschland runs their own banners and they prominently feature a goal thermometer element that I feel uh, we began exploring. And honestly, from my side, coming from the perspective that the people who see this know almost nothing about the background. Um, I ran focus groups in my hometown in North Carolina and we asked uh, and we cultivated existing donors to come to them. And we asked them, how much do you think it costs to run Wikipedia? And they said a million dollars, you know, maybe $500,000. And so sometimes I think the need to 
in a single message, start tapping someone into this vast ecosystem is daunting, but I appreciate the encouragement. I think we can do it. And I think we need to back up that idea of if we mention a goal, there should be a sense of progress. What about anyone else? And I guess I just um, encourage you maybe particularly the examples from the U.S. If you, many people in this room, I bet, don't live in the U.S. And I'm just kind of curious if you have a sense of what you feel readers in your location need to know. Um, we've talked about volunteers. We've talked about the foundation. Is there something else? Yeah. And I guess I just, hey, maybe, yeah, please. Yeah, we just love, what, we'll definitely come back too. Yeah, we just love, I love suggestions on that. Awesome. Uh, Kasi, speaking here, uh, since you asked for a perspective from other yes, geographies. Please. So um, born and raised in Brazil, I currently live in the Netherlands. And um, to the point that you, you both spoke earlier today, I found it super interesting last week when I went through the flow of donation that at the end, I was taken into the work that's being done by Wikimedia the Netherlands. So I was like, oh, maybe I should have known this earlier. I, maybe I would have donated even more because it's local. It feels very close to, to my reality. So I just want to reinforce awesome. that messaging because definitely if it feels closer to home, it's, uh, it's I assume it's more likely I will be willing to, to donate. Um, when I think about the, the things I appreciate, because of course it's easy to criticize, but uh, the things I appreciate is really the absence of that alarming message um, you mentioned United States um, as someone who, who comes from a different culture, who lives in a third culture, which is often, oftentimes I find language stemming from the United States to be hyperbolic and everything is big and explosive. And so I appreciate that that is not the case. Um, steering away, as you mentioned as well, from like, oh, there's this majority of people who ignored this, but would you please be this minority? So I found it super cool. I find the, actually the call out on artificial intelligence actually quite smart. Because uh, when I think about the, the lay people in my life who's been, who've been keen on learning more about Wikipedia, they do establish this connection of, of, of like that feeding into um, regurgitative uh, artificial intelligence uh, like ChatGPT and stuff. So I found that cool. Um, and I had a fourth point, which I just forgot, but that's fine. I can always ask for the microphone again. Yeah, please. Thank you. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks so much for the feedback. Please. And then we've got one more little topic, and then I'll switch to you, Amal. Uh, yes, uh, on the feedback about uh, outside the U.S. Uh, so, yeah, I also agree with what, what, with what says previously, the what we call in France, misère, misère, uh, langua, langua, language, still miserabilist. Uh, like uh, we are in dying harmony, we are going to die uh, tomorrow, it was very, very, very annoying. It was uh, it, it was just oh no no they are they are still uh, crying croco crocodile tears uh, anyway. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's good you remove this, but um, I'm really curious, and I don't have the answer myself. I think the First part of the par first uh, text paragraph. Please don't throw this past this one minute read. We sorry to interrupt, but it's way now. In France, it, uh, I think a lot of people will will be just uh, irritated and uh, have uh, and be just uh, just another message uh, sucking my money. How would you rewrite that for French readers? I I'm not really sure at this point, but because uh, it's uh, I just discovered the, the text but uh in france uh i i think you you should try to also ask from some input for maybe uh, wikimedia france folks because uh I, i'm really not and maybe check about how uh it's done for uh um uh, local other sites asking for donations in France and maybe try to make something to make it look cool I don't know uh, so, so, so maybe try, try some wording to make to, to make the beginning hey you, you, you want uh, to you 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 write to, to, you like to read X X or Y uh, cool things on uh, Wikipedia and uh, do you want uh, to support this and then uh, you can uh, uh, go on uh, with something uh, like uh, the donations. 
and and how it can be used to further the configs uh, like that yeah, I, I, I really think uh, some more uh, um, uh, f look f looking for feedback local feedback is n really needed if you try to go to other countries and cultures sure definitely um and if our localization lead, Camille, was here, I think she could speak, and maybe even Julia could speak, to the, the fact we rely on the chapter and volunteers to give us some input into it, but that doesn't in any way invalidate your, your feedback, and so I really appreciate it. Um, does anyone have any other general comments? I just So the one other thing I'd make... Well, go for it, please. Yeah, new voice, too, please. Hi. Um, I'm from Poland, so I don't relate to the message. Um, no, the question really is, uh, are you using targeting in any way? Which way? It's a great question, and that's maybe what's going to lead to my next topic. So we target by country and language. Um, that is the majority of our targeting, honestly. Uh, we can do certain targeting based off what we call banner history, meaning central notice the extension we use lets us limit how many impressions you'll see in a campaign so we use uh local storage and cookies to do that and at different times we have referenced that in the banner we've said this is the third time we've asked and we actually kind of moved away from that out of just a sense of, of privacy concerns but i wonder if you have a thought on whether we should be doing more targeting or less yeah exactly i uh would like to relate to a for-profit uh, institution the guardian namely oh yes which does great, I think, they, we I hope, with them. Yeah. they do great job in uh, targeting because every time I see their banner, I'm learning how many times I have visited the page and uh, I'm okay with that. I don't know if uh, people searching Wikipedia would be okay with that. I mean, I'm okay with uh, learning that it's, it's the hundredth time you're here to fetch some images. So please consider donating. Yeah, more targeting. If nice. it is not uh, really uh, bad for right. the results. Yeah, nice. Um, we got our idea to mention art banners we've shown from The Guardian. I think it just kind of connects back to I don't want someone who is using Wikipedia for self-improvement or for any other reason who cannot afford to give. I feel that that you've, we've asked you a hundred times. It just starts really pushing it. And so honestly, though, there are many ways you could cap it. I appreciate the encouragement. And maybe again, just we have one other thing to talk about. I'll just get some quick feedback. Um, already, y'all are all talking about targeting, which honestly – would make a lot of money. I mean, like targeting and personalization, even you see, we mentioned the date multiple times because if I can't target based off anything in your personal identifiable information, just mentioning the date is effective. We would like to begin more personalization of banners. And so the way we think of doing that is this is a generic message everyone reading Polish Wikipedia in Poland would see. What about the idea of customized messages based off category? Like if you're reading sports articles or politics articles, would you raise your hand if you think that's a good idea and you think that that is not overly invasive? Um, anyone have any concerns around unexpected repercussions for beginning to... The content will not money from it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, nice. Um, off the top of anyone's head, do you already feel that there is a category of article you think would be most effective to begin <laughs> entertainment would you talk a little bit about that i mean the the whole idea of like people who use wikipedia to settle a bar bet and entertainment do you have ideas for how we could custom spoilers movie spoilers nice nice uh, Uh, list of uh, Wikipedia in French is used a lot for um, the, how to we uh, in English it will be uh, the list of episodes for anime and TV series and uh, what was said in the episode I didn't have time to watch or I don't want to watch this episode because the series sucks I'm going uh, I'm going just to see how it ends uh, things like that thanks Great. Yeah, please, and Cassie. And that, and we'll let you be the last comic, and then we'll switch to yours, Amal. And thank you all so much for all the engagement. Uh, I'm probably being too basic, but the category that I thought of was not-for-profit. 
like if I'm, if I'm interested in that, I might be willing to give either my time or my. So if I'm visiting Oxfam's webpage or Save the Children, sure. whatever. And I remember my fourth comment. Uh, it was right on the header. Like a Wikipedia oh, yeah. still can be sold, can't be sold. I don't know if it's a lost in translation moment because English is not my primary language. But it feels to me when I read that, that eventually it will be. Sure, sure. So that got me a bit like, oh, what do you mean? Like, uh, do you plan to one day, yeah. you know, become a privately owned uh, thing? So that got me a bit like, yeah. Appreciate that. You're going to see the headline change in the next months. Uh, fun fact, the original permutation of this was not for sale, which was a direct quote of a Jimmy Wales response to a tweet where someone encouraged Elon Musk to buy Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. Jimmy responded, not for sale. We put it in a headline. It was a 25% win. And so, yeah, I agree with you. I think that there is something not lost in translation. I think it, it can start feeling a little alarmist, and I think we can change that. Um, Thank you all so much for the feedback. I'm around and just would so encourage any additional comments, but we're actually going to turn it to Amal to talk about something also fundraising related, but not dependent on a banner. So here. Um, do you want to do that? Thank you. Thank you so much. So after this fruitful discussion, I'm not going to take um, so long time. Just I'm going w quick with you on this. So my name is Amal. I'm a senior movement communications specialist supporting the apps team in the foundation. And I'm here with you today to talk about something not like the banners, but we can say that's similar to. So um, I'm talking about something called article page. So at the beginning, um, we worked on improving the donation process through the mobile application. So during the last fiscal year, we released the donation through native um, Google Play and native Apple Pay that allows users to donate in a smooth way within the application without going to an external browser to complete their process. But then after that, we thought that banners happens like once a year. How about having something more evergreen to allow donation to the foundation all over the year? So we were looking for something that would um, appear in the convenient time to users or readers who are using the application and reading Wikipedia. And why specifically article page? I want you to imagine this with me. And I'm just saying imagine the initial idea. I'm stressing, emphasizing, and highlighting that this is an initial experiment that I'm presenting here. So this is this user who is reading an article on the iOS Wikipedia um, application on their device and then they feel the need to give back to the foundation for the useful information that they gained from this article and others as well. And they can find this icon um, on the article that they can press and do the donation to the foundation through this article. And then this icon became an activated icon that reminds them that they donated to the foundation through this article. So by this, we believe that we will have three benefits. The first one is related to the readers because we make them feel that they are more um, related and engaging with Wikipedia. And the second thing is for donors because if I'm a donor, we received a couple of requests from donors to say that I would love to feel like I'm being recognized as one of your donors. So if I donated through this article and then while browsing Wikipedia at another time, I will find this icon activated. So I remember, yeah, I donated to Wikipedia through this article before. And the third uh, benefit is related actually to editors and other readers because um, to know that there is like 100,000 users donated to Wikipedia through this article gives like a greater insight on what readers are really caring about and seeking. And I know that we don't have much time, so going quickly to this. What's next? I would like to ask you to hold on your devices and scan this QR code so that you can find the project page of this fundraising experiment on the iOS Wikipedia mobile application. Please check the answers, ask them, and adding um, your comments, feedbacks, and what do you think about the best title for this feature? What is the best icon that we can use? Because we will not be able to proceed to any other upcoming features or plans or steps for this one without knowing what you're thinking of. Because your input is really valuable, not only to our values, but as well to strengthen our movement. I hope I finished on Tahi.
and um, I'm, I'm around if you wanted to ask anything or share any concern. And thank you so much.